don't do that to me, Microsoft, you dirty, dirty boy. What's up, Flaming Gamer? What's up, Nightmare 4? Oh my god! What happened? Dude, why does the chat blow up that fast? It's mi It's nearly midnight, guys. Stop it! How'd you guys get in so fast? Excuse me. Oh, God. Why did the light... Oh. <laughs> I get the light on my phone. The chat's moving too fast. If you like... Oh, dude. Y'all are toxic, bro. God damn. God damn. God damn. I had some emulators open. Let me shut that down before, like, the Nintendo fucking crew kills me. If you guys want to see a uh, snippet from the video tomorrow... Here, I got it right here, boys. We're answering this question. I, wa I want you guys in the chat to tell me, will you be denied heaven for emulating a game? Even if you don't pirate? I'll be honest, boys. There's a few people. There's a few people out there. <laughs> There, there's, there's a few people out there. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell. There, there are some Reddit churches for video games where, like, there's a point Dexter. Like, yeah. Here, you want, want to know, want to know, want to know what non-emulating Andy sounds like? Uh, you should play the game on the original Hardway. If you don't do it, Jesus will cry. I love emulating, dude. I don't even like emulating just to play games anymore. The fact that it pisses off some fucking Melvin at this point, you know? Like, some, some dude is just absolutely toasted that I emulated their favorite game. That's all I care about, man. Like, that's literally all I care about. The fact that there are actual people out there that are like, emulating a game is wrong. I'm like, y'all, y'all crazy. By the way, so I'm in um, so I'm in a, I'm gonna go to Los Angeles this weekend, guys. My video output is gonna be dog shit because I'm kind of taking a little vacation, a weekend vacation. So, uh, if you guys are noticing like why I'm not like uploading, like like I, why I'm not like why I'm missing out some days, I'm finishing this Rubet Part Six, and uh, I'm also like just gonna take a break. Like I'm actually gonna go to like fucking to meet up with some friends. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, Jesus Christ, come give me some sugar. Oh, yeah, Powder? Cecilia's like, good evening, Muda. Nice to see you again. I don't go anywhere, but nice to see you again, too, Cecilia. You're regular. Thank you, Acreville. Hello from Alaska. Alaska? Well, you must be doing some exciting shit out there, let me tell you. God damn. God damn. <laughs> you must be doing some crazy stuff out there. Well, I'm not doing anything crazy out here, either. Thank you, Roger Parker and Carlos Aim. Don't watch Mr. Hands, brother. Bro, I wanted to start off this night of spooky extravaganza with some good old Nukes Top 5. I, honest to God, like, I met a dude, by the way. Like, here's a fun story. I met somebody who actually thinks this is, like, scary content on the internet. Like, there's actually somebody that I've spoken to who, like, legitimately says that this is, like, legit fucking scary content for them. Like, actually scary content for them. It's kind, it's kind of scary, man. Like, I don't know if they're fucking memeing with me or what, but it's getting too good. You know, let me enter a private window. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, like, somebody actually gets, like, scared out of it. But Muya, Creeper Nick. I'm glad that you guys like the But Muya meme. Like, I try, man. Like, I'll be honest with you, man. I, I do what I can. Speaking of, of, of Ruby, oh my god, it goes fast, dude. Didn't I collab with Nuke? I didn't collab with Nuke. Oh my god, it's moving so fast, dude. Yo, you're pulling up that the big guns? What big guns? What what big guns am I pulling up? Is there is there a gun in the background? Oh, okay, there's nothing. My neighbors are weird, dude. There's one of my neighbors? I thought, dude, I, that'll be all. I think, I think, I think. <laughs> I swear, one of my neighbors has the weirdest sex in the world, dude. Like, I, I was working out here at 2 in the morning, and I heard some moans, bro. They got, they got, like, their bathroom next to my house. Like, outside that window is, like, their bathroom. The lights were on, bro, and there was a moan in there. Unless you're pinching one off. It didn't actually, no, it didn't sound like a pinch one off moan, dude. 
They were getting it on in the shower. I, Bro, I stood there for five minutes, lights off, listening to it. That was weird, bro. You should, like, I think there should be, like, a bylaw. You, sh you shouldn't just, like, fuck, okay? I think, I think it should be a, a, a fucking crime. Oh, no. Is it la God damn Canadian internet. God damn Canadian internet. Hold on. Why was I listening? Oh, okay, like you wouldn't fucking listen either. Hold on, Canadian internet. I know it's lagging. God damn it. God damn it! Why is it lagging? Give me the status on that connection. Give me the fucking status, you filthy bitch. I think it's getting kind of better. All right, it's back into it. Sorry, guys. Uh, so I got... I fucking hate GTA Online. Like, I love playing GTA Online, but guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. A GTA Online, I, I, this is the seventh time my IP address has been doxxed for that game. Like, I love GTA Online, but like, there is, so let me give you guys a story. There's literally like a 40 year old fucking like woman on Discord or something, on like some fucking virgin heavy Discord DDoSing. Like, she shared it to, like, this insider that I have in this group who's, like, telling me, yeah, every time this person DDoSes you, they literally start coming their panties. I'm like, what a fucking loser, bro. Like, what an actual loser. Like, imagine DDoSing a fat Indian guy on the internet. Like, what kind of a, what kind of a loser-ass life do you have? G Dude, I'm telling you, if you're a DDoSer on the internet, y'all are weird motherfuckers, bro. Uh, Arcade Craniacs? Pfft. Bro, Arcade Craniacs is too scary, bro. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's pretty sussy baka, bro. All right, let's go into it. DDoS. Yeah, I'm not committing a federal crime, guys. I don't think I want to do some. D wait a minute. Is it? <gasps> no. Wait a minute. Don't fucking do this. What the fuck? I'm legit dropping frames for no reason. Oh, yeah, they're fin they're finished. They're fin about to destroy me right now. All right. Guys, I'm getting fu- DUDE! Who the fuck would- Oh my god, this piece of shit. I swear to god. I'm- I'm actually gonna fuck- I'm- That's it, man. I'm getting a legal case started, dude. I'm suing this bitch. I'm actually fucking internationally suing this fucking bitch. I'm so fucking done at this point. I'm actually so done. I think, I think we're gonna have to actually sue this bitch. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm fucking, I'm done. This is like, I swear, how much of a fucking, I can't even talk like that, dude. I'm gonna get fucking age, I'm gonna get age restricted. I'm gonna get legit age restricted on the internet. Like, it's done, dude. I'm gonna get age restricted. It's not gonna be fun. I'm gonna be pissed. What is my, what is my fucking, hold on. Let me, let me navigate through a different gateway. Hold on. I am actually so sorry about this, guys. God, I thought tonight would be different. Literally, I thought tonight would be fucking different, dude. 
I literally honestly thought tonight would be a little, I got a new fucking IP address, I got a new everything. Like, what kind of bullshit do I have to deal with every day, bro? Some fucking actual loser is straight up doing it. Like, I, 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 can't, I can't deal, I can't deal with this shit, man. I'm about to, I'm about to actually lose it right now. There is an actual fucking cum stain literally trying to DDoS it. But it's like they're failing because they're not even paying for the fucking good service. Okay, you, f you actual loser. Like, I'll be honest, if you, a like, I can't play GTA Online, dude. I can't play GTA Online anymore. Like, it's such an aggravating pile of ass. GTA Online is, like, the worst thing that I've ever done. Like, I'm mitigating everything. I Hopefully, like, it fixes the stream. Like, I'm, li I'm literally fighting a dipshit fucking breastfeeding pile of crap DDoSer right now. Like, whatever, dude. All right, mitigate the IP there. Okay, tunnel me. Reroute. What an actual pile of fucking garbage. Like, what joy do you get? Oh, I bet right now they're probably sitting at home fucking creaming themselves. They're like, oh my god, oh, DDoS with the Indian guy on the internet. Fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm having a fucking war right now. I'm supposed to be, like, relaxed streaming, and I'm having a literal fucking war with this trog. I'm having a legitimate, like, war with the trog right now. It's legitimately, it's not even funny anymore. We're back down to like 14 kilobits. It's great. That is just what we needed. Dude, it's literally hot fucking ass right now. Dead. I'm actually about to like just fucking smash something at this point, dude. I'm about to like smash just everything in this room. This is the this is the seventh time, seventh fucking time, by the way. God, I f I hate Rockstar, man. <laughs> I really do. Like this is seven times. This is the, I'm counting, by the way. No matter how much you touch that game in single player, I literally I literally just tried to play it single player. I literally tried to play some goddamn fucking online solo. Oh my god. There's like no mitigation. There's no IP fucking masking. It is the worst game to play if you actually want to do something with your IP address. Oh my god. Alright, log in to this. It is like the worst game ever. Now I'm spending this entire fucking stream for like 15 minutes. Like literally at... Like quarter of a Seinfeld episode, just dicking around. Your default password. I don't care about the default password. Just get me in, please. Okay, there it is. We're inside. Um, stop playing G... Yeah, except if it wasn't fucking fun, okay? That shouldn't be like a thing. I shouldn't have to give up the game because some fucking trog on the other side of the internet decided to do this shit. What kind of a troglodyte does this for fun, bro? Like, like I said, this, per this person has nothing else going on in their life. If they die tomorrow, the world would honestly not give a fuck in your life. Imagine, if you're watching this, like, imagine your life being so shit that you could die the next day and no one on the internet, no no one in life would give a fuck. They've got no parents that care about Yeah, they could fall off the face of the earth and no one would give a shit. What a goddamn world, dude. Okay, yeah, do it now. Do it now. There we go. I can get hit online. I'm mitigated. I think I'm fine. I think I'm good. 
I can fucking live my life and not be cuckolded. There we go, done. Muda balding, Muda molding. Bro, it's not even a mold though. Like, think about it like this, okay? They literally spent, like, they, th it's like 11.30 Eastern, right? So you're like sitting on the internet. Think about it like, you're literally sitting on the internet, okay? Trying to DDoS a fat Indian guy. Like, my life, I'm, I'm a fucking loser. Don't get me wrong. I'll fully admit I'm a loser, bro. Like, straight up, 100%. How much of a loser do you have to be to do that to me, though? Like, god damn. Fucking trashed here, dude. Couldn't even knock my ass off the internet. What a fucking loser, bro. Don't feed the troll. I don't, it doesn't matter. Like, look, I'll feed the troll every once in a while, dude. But it's not really feeding the troll if I'm making fun of them, you know? Like, if I'm ripping on you, all right, Jesus Christ. Look, I wish the best for every loser, but, like, sometimes, okay, all right, you, I don't know, man. Some some people are a lost fucking cause, boys, let me tell you. Yo, Metroid Dread was sick. You guys want to see fucking, you guys see some molding? You guys think I'm molding? Bro, look at David Jaffe real quick. So you guys know who David Jaffe is? The guy who, like, developed God of War and, um... Fuck, what was it? God of War and uh, Twisted Metal. So he made, like, the original God of Wars. The new one is Cory Balrog. But, like, uh, best part about it is David Jaffe was criticizing Metroid Dread's design, okay? So I want to watch his YouTube videos because, like, this dude does not chill out, you know? My last Metroid Dread video ever. <laughs> Metroid Dread, here we go again. <laughs> God of War creator reviews Metroid Dread. I want to watch this, dude. You're going to be mad. Are you going to get the new SMT5? Hell yeah. Thank you, Pancha. Thank you, Rar. Looks like you're getting more sleep. I am. So I put in Metroid Dread a second time to play it after the first time. I will, at the top of this, concede that um, out of all the issues I had with it, that part I got stuck in, um, the people who were pushing back and saying against my note oh wait no no no. this is like further in the saga we gotta we gotta get started off in the beginning so in metroid if you want to play Me metroid right like metroid's one of those games where you explore right so you get so to understand chat can can i get a can i get a how many of you people have played metroid dread or sorry not metroid how many of you in the chat have played a metroidvania game okay can i get like a one in the chat for people that have played a metroidvania game and two in the chat for people that um, haven't played a Metroid, like, Vania game, okay? Can I get, like, a one for yes, two for no, okay? So I'm, I'm seeing ones. I'm seeing a lot of fucking ones. I'm seeing some twos. Oh, I'm oh okay, there's a lot of... Okay, there's, like, ones and twos coming in. So, to understand, guys, Metroid games are kind of like this, okay? Metroid games are... Metroidvania-type games are basically heavy, heavy on exploration, right? So the entire idea to play Metroid games is that you you sort of get items piece by piece. These items help you progress in areas that are typically locked off in the beginning of the game. So you have to backtrack, you have to revisit areas, and you have to constantly experiment, break certain things around you. So there's always this level of exploring every tile you come across. Now, Metroid Dread is a good game, but Metroid Dread is literally like the... It's one of the most inviting Metroid games, okay? Like, fucking, if you were to play Super Metroid, you go to New Bridge and it separates people, right? Like, you know, who know who knows Metroid or who don't? Um, and, you know, sometimes you have super linear and shitty Metroid games, like Other M, okay? Metroid Dread is, like, very welcoming to fans, but at the same time, it doesn't insult your intelligence. It's a difficult game, okay? You know, it requires you to learn things. Now, David Jaffe got stuck in an area where he was like, I don't know which block to break. This game sucks, asshole. Now, to understand, David Jaffe's only played like an hour or like 15 minutes or something of like Super Metroid. So this guy's like idea doesn't exist. So he's like, it's shit game design. The game should just like kind of point me where, okay? And so people have been ripping on him, you know? It's like, I bet David Jaffe only likes a Sony game where the fucking main character says, Well, gay, maybe I should break your block over there. You know, they point it. They got, like, the Wojak soy face, like... You know, like, they're pointing to the wall and shit. That, I think that's what David Jaffe kind of expects. But, like, let's watch David Jaffe go into it. What AAA games really think of hardcore gamers? I don't fucking care, okay? 
I go to war or whatever. I need to find moments where the exact moment Metroid Dread fell apart. Let's watch this one. So you can see this guy got like holy ratioed right now, you know? Like my fucking dude got like dropped into the ratio pool, right? Let's watch this. I have to show you that I just have to show you this briefly. Um, it's not part of my Metroid video because I didn't know I had the footage, but I did have the footage. I do have the footage. This is what I'm talking about. Watch this fucking thing. This is absolutely... I, I don't know how... I'm watching. We're watching. We got 4,500 people, Jaffe, watching. Let's this look at acceptable. it. People are coming at me on Twitter like, that's Metroid. It's always been Metroid. Then it's shit. It's shit design. I'm sorry. Bro, but look, I'm not here to shit on God of War PlayStation 2. But God of War PlayStation 2 literally was a fucking straight up linear as fuck experience like totally different all right i'm just saying putting it out let's go the point where even these sacred cows and i love nintendo and i worship at the altar of miyamoto like most designers do but i'm sorry if this is acceptable to you you're just a fucking moron look at this so i come into this room and i i, I must have been in this room 30 times going i have no idea what to do and it's not the map, because the map doesn't tell you. Now watch this. This is insane that this is acceptable to people. Watch this. Right? <laughs> okay. Okay, hang on. It's coming. So somebody in the chat is telling me uh, to shoot the ceiling. Wait, let me let me jump forward a minute. <laughs> what the okay, fuck so is he memory. doing? Is this my fucking DSP play? God damn! Watch this. Just no, no, no. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. He's like trying to find the terrible part. The shit so game design. Go back up in that it. room. Thanks, Minty. And shoot Thank the you, ceiling. Amelia. Thank you, Smish. What? Rich. Why? There's no Thank indication you, on the, the map. 15, There's no bro. indication visually that the ceiling needs to be shot. Watch this. This is ridiculous. Dude's like bumbling around, bro. Like, what the fuck is this retirement home gaming? Bro. <laughs> Dude, it's like baby's first Metroid game, bro. <laughs> bro, it's like baby's first Metroid. <laughs> so, oh, wait, wait, Minye? Wait, wait, Minye? I got shoot the walls. Like the game literally gives you the fucking tutorial, bro. <laughs> like, I, dude, I'm, I'll be honest, bro. I could be baked like a goddamn potato, and I still wouldn't fail that, bro. God damn. <laughs> oh shit. How was nothing? Oh. In the visual. That bullshit. Right that? <laughs> that fucking wood. Crap. Bush League. What? This should not get a pass. <laughs> Bro, it's a Metroidvania game, dude. Come on. Come on, David. God damn. Oh. Okay. Shouldn't get a pass. It's, it's crap. crap. Utter horseshit. God. You like like he makes this acting like he's just it needs more neon green moss with Samus muttering. Maybe I can shoot the walls as a hint, like all Sony games. So now you get like a bunch of like you get a bunch of Nintendo dipshits jumping in, who are like, oh, I guess you need your hand holding like a Sony game, and then they forget that there's like Sony games that are actually fucking difficult, right? Like you've got you know you got Demon Souls, which is, admittedly it gets gets hard, you know. Then, hey, you've also got Returnal, all right? God damn, I'd love to see a bunch of Nintendo Treehouse huggers sit down and play that game, right? Like, shit. It, it gets difficult, you know? I'm sure there's somebody in the chat like, Mood, I finished Returnal and I only have one arm and uh, one of my eyes only works, okay? Like, somebody's gonna sit here and fucking tell me. But, like, at the end of the day, listen, Sony games can be difficult, all right? This guy just had a real shit take. All right? I'm just I'm just putting it out there. Now, do I think... Do, do, now, there's been people who are, like, straight up just fucking shitting on David Jaffe. And I want to straight up say, like, I respect David Jaffe from the perspective of he... 
dude, this guy worked on Twisted Metal, you know? This guy worked on God of War, right? Like, admittedly, I'm not the biggest fan of the first three God of War games, but, like, they're good games, right, chat? Like, God of War 1, 2, and 3, they're pretty fucking good games, aren't they? Like, I think they're good. I mean, what, they're good, right? Like, I don't know. I, I Look, I think the God of War games are good. Do I... Personally, I think God of War, the new God of War, is better than any other God of War. But, like, I'm sure I'm probably pissing on somebody right now by saying that. Now, is Twisted Metal good? Yeah, dude, Twisted Metal is great. If anybody says Twisted Metal is shit, play Twisted Metal Black. That game is great, in my opinion, you know? But, uh, yeah, like, at the end of the day, I feel like this video, it's just, like, somebody who doesn't know Metroid playing a Metroid game. And it's, like... <laughs> The game literally tells you, like, how many fu how many fucking, like, how many tutorials do you need before people start reading? <laughs> so he kind of, like, keeps defending it, but, like, yeah, David Jaffe's just been, like, getting roasted lately for this Metroid take. And look, you know, it's whatever. The cle look, clearly it works for him, okay? Like, fucking... Dude's pulling in 73,000 views on the Metroid video, okay? Metroid Dread is on trial. The crime, bad design. Dude, like, doubles down, okay? Let's go down and do it. I woke up today to a lot of... I do I do want to say, though, can I just be honest? The Dollface is the best character in Twisted Metal, all right? I'm just putting it out there. Dollface, probably the best character. You know what? Dollface or No-Face, dude, they're, like, uh, they're one of the creepiest characters in all of the Twisted Metal, dude. I love that shit. She, she's got a whole, like, tractor trailer waiting to waste you, brother. I'm telling you. I don't even know if they're Nintendo fanboys. Metro, I, I'm gonna... No, li listen, listen, chat. Sweet Tooth's a mascot, but Sweet Tooth ain't no Axel, bro. Sweet Tooth ain't, ain't T-posing <laughs> and driving through. Let's be real, dog. It ain't no Mr. Grimm. Come on now. All right, shit. I call them Metroid fanboys and ladies because they're not arguing. He's like fanboys and ladies. I mean, listen, it, li it's it's okay to say jizzrag, all right? Let's be real. Come on. Being <laughs> and debating rationally, they're simply lashing out and defending something that is not defendable, indefensible. Uh, quick lowdown that I'm going to be very specific. Uh, I got stuck in this area of Metroid. And this <laughs> Dude, without the Photoshop for this one, he's going full John Madden. <laughs> God damn. I deleted the game and I haven't looked back except to make videos like this. And the what, you deleted the game on that part? Come on. David, don't do that. Don't let Nintendo win, David. Stop it. Because the, the willingness to forgive crap uh, and bad game design staggers me, right? And people will say, well, what about you, Jaffe? Your, some of your games have really bad design and, and bad tuning. I'm like, yeah, they do. I've openly admitted that, like, the Hades Tower was crap. It wasn't even meant to be that way. It wasn't like we did that on purpose, but it was still crap. Bro. <laughs> He's like, yeah, oh shit, we didn't mean to do it. It just came out that way, boys. Fuck you. And if we Bro, it, don't we rage quit. The very first one. But we didn't know because that was the one part of the game we didn't play test. I, I'm not infallible. Are you kidding? I'm not anywhere near as good as most of the people in Nintendo. But this is crap okay and i want to talk to you about that i want to talk to you about the defenses because <coughs> even if i'm sure 99 percent of you guys making comments and ladies making comments have no interest in going into video game design but if you were taking a video game design course and you use the excuses that y'all have been using to defend this or if you were trying to get a job and this was the question it's like here's a guy on the internet that has a problem with this section talk to me this is the interview Talk to me about what you think about his views, and you were to use the arguments I've been- Bro, I don't know what the fucking Mandela catalog is, alright? Like, what the fuck are you on about? What? Let me just Google this real quick. If it's like some dude's, like, taint that I'm looking at, I'm banning you, okay? Mandela catalog. What the fuck is this? It's the new ARG. 
Well, I know what I'm covering for a video tomorrow. Sh not tomorrow. No, I'm not watching this on stream, boys. I need my, like, I need my analysis cap on. I get it. I saw it, all right? I got it. Let's get back to fucking old man tries to play video game, okay? Shit. All right? You guys convinced me. You will get a video on it. Stop. All right? Shit. I will do a vi- I mean, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna add it- I'm gonna add it to the video list real quick. Wait the fuck up. Hold on. Let's see. Shit post ideas. Make a video. And buy more beers. There we go. See, I got it. I, di I did it. I did it. All right, it's it's in it's 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 in the phone, okay? All right, now let's let's get back to it. I'm not gonna watch. I can't watch. Look, I can't watch analytical things on a stream. It just doesn't work, dude. All right, I need to be in my zen state. I need, to, dude. I need to get back. I like. Do not confuse that with the hentai list. Yeah. Been seeing consistently last night and this morning to defend this section. All right, show me the defenses. Which is less about. Um, dealing with this map section but well most of it is dealing with the map section but the first one is this is well you know i'm saying the game is not hard like the enemies are hard but it there's a lot of precision work needed and playing with this default controller which is what most people have is uh really hard it's hard to get the character to line up and stay lined up with these little nubs um people are like I don't know, bro. Like, listen, don't get me wrong. The the joy the Joy-Con nipples are pretty ass, but that's stretching it, dude. That's stretching it a little bit. It's not that bad. <laughs> like, don't get listen, listen. If if I was playing something like Call of Duty or like Rainbow Six Siege where I needed like actual full precision maybe but I don't know I don't know it's, I don't like I guess sure you know cool like I get it well yeah you have to play with the pro controller you only it's dumb Jeff you want to be playing with that controller oh I don't know because it's the controller that came with the the, the switch I, I act. Listen, I think I defend this point. I'll, I'll give David Jaffe that. I defend it. Okay, like listen, I defend that point because if the controller like genuinely gets into your way, is this a Terry A. Davis? No, no, no. He's like actually like really good. Like David Jaffe's got records. Like don't get me wrong. Like that. This I'll defend. Okay. Like yeah, the Joy Cons suck ass. Let's be completely real. If it's not drifting, yes, the nipples are terrible for precision. Now, I beat the game with the nipples, like the little Joy-Con nips at the end. I beat it, but, like, don't get me wrong. Yo, maybe I'm getting whole, but my, like, arm, like, my hand started kind of hurting. I started cramping a little bit. But, yeah, I, I get that. That's a point that's defendable, dude. Like, we'll, we'll give we'll give David and because that. Because this is a game that nowhere on the box, as far as I can tell, not that I saw a box, I downloaded it, said you should play this with the Pro Controller. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's the reason, because I don't fucking live on the Reddit, Metroid subreddit or whatever, and it's like, oh, yeah, we ain't plan that, you know. How the fuck would anybody know this? How the fuck would anyone know this? Now, Bro, I'm not his first wrong, problem was going to Reddit, okay? Like, Reddit is a dog shit place to go to if you want to get a proper opinion. I'm going to be fucking honest with you, okay? Like, this is the scary part of the internet, going to Reddit and taking any opinion from them. Okay, like let here's a pro tip. Don't go to Reddit, okay? Reddit and Twitter are like the same place. They're just ass, okay? The only thing worse than Reddit is finding an atheist that joined Reddit, okay? And will never shut the fuck up about atheism on Reddit, alright? As simple as that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay? The only reason I say the atheist on Reddit shit is because you know. You know when that guy comes talking to you, oh man. Oh, he'll never shut up about pointless stuff, dude. Red Redditors are a different breed, dude. Experiences and improved drastically. Redditors are ass. But look what you're defending. You're not... You, you should say... Here, here's the proper response. Absolutely, if the game shipped and it doesn't play well with the default controller, that's egg on our face, but we need to make it clear to the player, hey, 
you know, you're probably going to have a better experience playing with a different controller. But to act like the onus is on the player to just magically know. Okay, David, I, I defended you, but it's not like the end of the fucking world. Shut up. Of opening up some random people. Metroid has always been that way. I mean, are you are you serious with that? Oh wait, what? Random oh, here, this is what I wanted. Exploration. That sort of ADD without or ADHD without taking your meds, right? And I take meds, so I'm not making fun of ADD people. But it's just like. What is that? But let, let's assume, it doesn't even matter. Let's assume you like that. I respect that. I think that's dumb, that mechanic, but so what? I mean, it's just, it's subjective. But let's assume you like that. But your excuse that Metroid has always been that way, I mean, are you are you serious with that? You think that's a valid defense? So let me give let me give a counterpoint to that. Do you think David Jaffe gets like Vietnam War flashbacks when he plays Dark Souls? And he finds out that maybe sometimes a chest is in fact a mimic. You ever you ever feel like David Jaffe like screams? He's like playing Dark Souls fucking three, and he opens up a chest suddenly it starts eating him, and he's like, ah! Like he's just screaming away. Like dude, dude's like down bad. He's like, no, this is haram. <laughs> like what? Like bro, I don't know. <laughs> There's, like, key differences. You have to find it. Stop it. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> what if no one... Illusory walls! Ever played a Metroid? What? what if the last Metroid <laughs> that you've played that's been 2D, like in my case, was Super Metroid back in 94? In the meantime, I've had probably, you know, God knows how many games that I've played in the meantime, including other games in the, the Metroidvania genre, which I very much enjoy, the Ori games and the SteamWorld Dig games and Castlevania games. Hell, I... I've been playing Castlevania on the fucking phone recently. The, the Okay, first off, I'm sorry, David, that you had to play Castlevania on a fucking cell phone. But uh, he's talking about a game franchise, Castlevania, where they literally hide items and pork chops in the walls. So it's like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand it. Doesn't, doesn't he have to deal with illusory walls all the time? Or maybe, maybe I ain't playing enough fucking Metroid. I don't know. He's playing it on the phone. What Castlevania game exists on the phone? I'm so sorry to hear that. Castlevania iOS. Oh my god. No fucking way. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, he was... No! He was playing... Si oh my god! No, how can you... No! Dude, he's playing... Oh, he's... Oh, no! Oh, he's playing Symphony of the Fucking Night on a mobile device. Oh my god, chop my hands off. I don't think I would. Oh, dude, that is so... Wait, was he playing Grimoire? What's this? Wait, what the fuck is Cass... Oh, he shut down in less than a year? What is this? Oh, dude, ten bucks. Ten bucks, this is like... I gotta I got see, what is it? Is this like a, is this like a clicker game? Oh, hey it's guys, a, it's an, this is... Mm, Thank you. Right. Oh, dude, it's a, wow! Oh my God, Konami actually made a somewhat decent. I mean, it's looks pretty ass to me. I want to be honest. Oh man, this is like Castlevania for baby. <laughs> what the hell is this, dude? When you defeat a soul, souls can be used to upgrade equipment. There are two ways of obtaining souls: killing enemies and using the coveted mommy's credit card. <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, they got like goddamn summons! Ten times summons, you can get Cat Dracula Dildo. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I've seen this before! They got the summon screen, the dispatch, the upgrading, and the shop. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh god, there's so many trees to. Oh, there's like individual items to. Oh, dude. Oh, this is a, this is a certified gotcha moment, right? Oh no. Oh. Ah! Every time you see that number, the little damage number, you know, you know it's not, you know it ain't a game. <laughs> it's a credit card machine. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I, I wonder why this was shut down now. Like, it's funny. The action, listen, the gameplay part looks cool, all right? 
It's just like it's it's huddled in between like this cancer. <laughs> hey, did you do? Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Did you do your dailies? Did you do your daily uh, daily daily shit? Did you do your daily? <laughs> no. Am I gonna play the new System Shock remake? Hell yeah! I'm gonna support my boy MVG. No problem, dude. What is worse, Castlevania on the phone or Sonic One on the iPad? I, I don't know, Sonic, Sonic, because like Sonic was done by actual gods, right? Oh man, this is such, this like literally doesn't even look, this, this just looks scary, dude. It, it, it doesn't have an energy system? Oh my god, right? Like, oh no, it's got, it's got the gotcha story, okay. Wait, does it have voice acting? Oh man, at least they should put in some fucking voice acting. I don't think they have like uh they have energies. Yeah, it's whatever, dude. So that's what he was playing. All right, I got the you. Grimoire, whatever the fuck it is, and it's it's not as Metroidy as you would expect. Cause it's the uh, the Grimoire, whatever the fuck it is, and it's it's not as Metroidy as you would expect. Cause it's too linear. But anyway, you were playing this. <laughs> David Jaffe was like, "Yeah, I'm playing a Castlevania game." Bro, this is about as Castlevania as- as- what?! Whoa, David! David, you can't- you can't be playing this piece of ass! What- what the fuck?! They- they would have- No, David, that's bad! David, don't- don't do this to yourself! I'm not a Oh, no! To, uh, uh, uh. Metroid oh or Castlevania, uh, Metroidvania shit. style design. Oh man, that's not a Metroidvania game, is you know you know what those games are on mobile? It's like all the kids get together and it's like, oh, you guys ready to play some of this mobile shit? And the kids like, hold on, boys, mommy get mommy gave me the credit card. Now I'll get to be number one. You know how many times I love playing these real shit like mobile like. You know that, so like, uh, one thing I had to say is like, Charlie's a fucking god when it comes to like, shitting on the hopes and dreams of literal children. So, if you guys don't know Charlie, Moist Critical, he made like, he made this video where like, uh, he played that Pokemon MOBA game, and I think Charlie spent like, maybe $75, and like, just started shitting on kids. Like, literally these like, fucking fetuses would step into like, they would step in, to, uh, to, like, Pokemon Smite or whatever. And Charlie... I think all Charlie did was spend, like, 75 bucks, right? Maybe a hundred. And he just dominated kids. Like, these kids are literally getting crapped on. Dude, I might buy... I, dude, I might spend a hundred... Is Pokemon, like... Is Pokemon, like, Smite on this? Oh, my God. Is, Poke, is Pokemon... It's Pokemon Unite. Oh, my God! It is, dude, it's on mobile! Oh, my God. 200? Boys. Well, boys. <laughs> boys. <laughs> I think Charlie's convinced me. I think I'm about to spend 200 bucks on this piece of shit <laughs> and just start shitting on people, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Only 200 to crap on people? Christ. Oh, man. <laughs> That's dirty. Anyway, let's go to Nuke's top five. Uh, yeah. Uh, David Jaffe can't play Metroid, I guess, so that's that's fun. Nuke's top five. I always love the title that Nuke makes. Top five scary ghost videos to spook ya. God, man, anybody that actually gets scared by a Nuke video? God damn. Uh, so it'll cry, cry into your stinky pillow. Ooh, to cause bug eyes. Five ghost videos so scary you'll cry like a big old baby. Oh, like a big old baby, huh? Oh, man. Oh, to give you the bubble guts. All right, let's get the bubble guts, dude. I love me a good old-fashioned nuke top five. Top ten ghosts. Caught on camera. Oh, hell yeah, brother. The Watcher. In Japan, an anonymous man travels to a remote area of the Japanese countryside in search of adventure. He says that he has read creepy stories online that talk about the location. Yeah, I was reading this thing about Squidward. Oh shit, if you heard what the SpongeBob scary community is about, god damn. ...of an allegedly haunted house on this mountain, and he plans to find it. 
っと、今現在の時刻が18時49分、7時前なんですが、もう暗いですね、やっぱり山で。Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but doesn't Japan also have crackheads? Yo, it's 7, it's 7 p.m. at night. A crackhead attack can be very popular. Trust me, it ain't, it ain't like a shiny Pokemon, chat. Crackheads can attack at any moment. Eventually, the lone explorer actually does find the old decaying house and makes his way inside. No, you don't do that! Dude, there's literally like. Bro, crackheads are a universal breed, dude. Japanese crackheads are like Canadian crackheads. They're the same, okay? Sure, their use of the word crack is different because of language differences, but like. You can't, you can't do that! The crack energy is real, brother, okay? They'll be like, crack? What? Hunt him down! <laughs> I have a satiated bloodlust. He immediately it. notices that someone has hung several paper talismans on the wall. In many Japanese religions, these talismans are believed to ward off evil spirits. <laughs> さっきと一緒のお札がある。怖っ。何これ。なんかあったんちゃうんか、村でこの。オッケー。なんか変な糞みたいな。無印みたいなのが。Yeah, maybe you should like run, okay? By the way, chat, I'm gonna be honest. I do that as a troll. Like, I'd straight up hang like, like talismans and like anti ghost stuff just to freak some dude out. That'd be hilarious, by the way. I'm just gonna be honest with you. That'd be funny. But if you see that in the house, you run. You get out of there, okay? Clearly, the talisman is not stopping the hunting. The house is a decaying wreck. And in one room, there are hundreds of disgusting maggots、ah! all over the floor. The explorer smells a horrible odor coming from somewhere nearby and goes to investigate. What happens oh, look at the old haunted gaming videos. Yeah,、chilling. that's scarier than the new top five, I'll be honest with you. Like, some old Jeff the Killer is like legitimately spookier than this. He's like, sus? Did I hear the word sus? Let me listen to that, boys. Let me listen to that. I think I heard the word sus. He said, sus! He said, sus! He said it, dude. Kowai, Kore wa hontoni kowai. Sasuga ni. Sus! Oh my god, it transcends. That's very. Sus! Chotto nan. Oh my god, dude. Dai benki desu ne. Bro! I think the house is about to collapse, brother. Get out of there. He went sus, dude. The right, the light? Oh, what the fuck? Bro! I'm fucking running, okay? If we, if, we were in, if we were here together, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, okay? If we were together hunting for ghosts and I saw that, I'm running. I'm leaving you behind. I'm not waiting for you. I'm running. What? Bro. Did you see it? Did I see it? Yes, I did. <laughs> I think. I think the Andromeda Galaxy saw. The bathroom, a terrifying face can be seen staring directly at him through a window. Like, that's not a ghost, that's a crackhead, bro. Like, imagine, okay? This is like. Like, they've already had a hit of that good old crack. Alright, their perception check is at 10. Alright, their perception stat is the highest it's ever been. You ain't running away, dude. 
All right, that's a level 99 crack fiend, I think. There, that's a crack god, you know? That's a crack god out in the wilderness. That's like a shiny Pokemon. You're out, dude. For a window. The man has no idea what he has just recorded, but he gets an overwhelming feeling that he just needs to get out of there. So could it be that someone passed away inside the old home and their angry spirit never oh, left? Nah, bro. And just who? There's a crackhead there. what is this? It's a crack lord, dude. Dun, 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 I leave it for you to decide. Yeah, Shack I've already come with it. Of Shadow of Doubt. Okay. A family in California says that they have experienced many strange, unexplained things since the day they moved into their new home. They've heard voices. Lights turn on and off for no reason. Okay. They frequently hear unexplained loud banging. So one night, as the family husband and father lays watching TV What's in the What's in bed, my window? Hopefully TV not a crackhead. ...sudden motion and begins to record. When they review the footage, they are shocked. Okay. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh no. It's a ghost. It didn't even pick up that motion. A shadow-like figure seems to quickly dart out of the room. The family has no idea who or what this creepy dark figure could- I don't know, bro. It looks like a fine After Effects job to me. I don't know, chief. Can you get a shout out? Sure you can, Sayo. I'll be honest, boys. That looks pretty fake to me. I'll be honest, though. I'm not, I'm not saying that they faked it. I wouldn't slander somebody. Well, that looks pretty fake to me. It looks pretty sus. B. And whatever it was, that's a teleporting crackhead. Like dude. To this day, the mysterious footage remains unexplained. The lonely road. In Brazil, there is a seemingly quiet stretch of highway near the city of Campo Grande that some say is cursed. Despite the fact that this short section of Brazilian Highway 262 is a relatively quiet drive, many people have lost their lives in mysterious car crashes on this road. And even stranger, many of these crashes involved only one car. You see, for some unknown reason, the drivers simply lost control of their vehicle. Bearing or they're getting head in the car and they nutted too hard. That's a possibility. All right. I can tell, dude. Look at that. Look at look look. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Dude's just wilding right here. Dude, like, nutted. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Don't matter if we lost the F-150. <laughs> Could be a drunk driver, though. I don't know. <laughs> seems, seems like, it seems like it's a very easy coincidence to just say ghost. Their lives in mysterious car crashes. Only one road. Oh, yeah. No, that... Dude, come on now. Come on. Come on now. You, can, you, can, you, can, you can't tell me this dude won't get in some roadhead? Oh, so... What happened in this case, dude? Like, what... Oof. What happened? Like, I'm trying to logically think how you flip your car over sideways. Did he, like, see somebody was on the road? And it's like, deja vu! Turned around at, like, 90 and just fell? Like, is that what happened? Oh. And even steering well, off let's see the road are even flipping their car. On May 30th, at around 2 a.m., a truck ran off the road on the same stretch of Brazilian Highway 262. Yeah, well, dude. What? Yeah. Okay, brother. A truck ran off the road. Brother, on the when, when you're when you're turning like that at that speed, you're gonna crash. Okay. Brazilian Highway 262, and a passenger lost his life. Oh man, I, fuck, I hate to hear that. TV news crew shows up to film the gory wreckage for the local news. But when they broadcast the footage, viewers quickly point out that the TV news cameras accidentally caught something else. Something truly bizarre. Ali na saída para Três Lagoas, esta caminhonete capotou. Bro! What? Oh shit, dude! Whoa! Crack? Wait, look at that. Did somebody, did somebody say crack? I heard crack. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, dude! It's like, it's like, hey brother, you got, hey bro, you you got you got the um, 
You got, you got, you got, a, you got that little crack in in the glove compartment. The dude's like, hey, you say crack? <laughs> Why'd you say crack? I want crack. <laughs> hey, Steve. <laughs> I know a great place where you can find crack. It's amazing for us. So crack! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Calm down there, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. Did you see it? The pale face of a young child seems to appear out of nowhere behind the man. How can you tell that's a child, though? Like, straight up. It could have, like, a facial. I don't know. That's odd. Gold truck. First at the back. And quickly peeking through the front window. Go back to the now, legendary mind, Arab horror. Was... Bro, we're literally looking at like ghosts show up on news Filmed footage, at around dude. 3 a.m. So why would a child be wandering the highway near a gory wrecked truck so late at night? Well, this is where things get even stranger. Because two years before this crash, another local TV news station reported a wreck very similar to this one. Hey guys, uh, there's this fucking car right here, and it just veered off the road. We didn't have anything to talk about in the news, so here's a random car crash. Fuck yeah. On this exact same stretch of road, a truck that looked just like this one crashed in the same way. And in that wreck, an eight-year-old boy tragically lost his life. Aww. Dentro da caminhonete estavam seis pessoas. Entre elas, uma criança de oito anos que morreu na hora. So is this the restless spirit of the boy who passed away in a very similar accident? And if not, just why is a child wandering through highway wreckage at 3 a.m.? Uh, what's up with the eye, by the way? Like, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of scary. Like, it looks like one of the eyes are, like, gone. Like, if, I don't know. It's hard to tell in the Minecraft pixels, right? Let me know what you think. Thrilling Thrift. Jesse from the YouTube channel Thrift School records his trips to local thrift stores and then shows how it's possible to make some extra money by finding cheap secondhand products and reselling them. Bro, I love those kind of channels. I'll be honest, these guys are fucking kings. These guys are actually kings. Like, I always love a channel that shows a pretty sick side hustle. Stream for my birthday. <laughs> Happy pre birthday, buddy. I'm online. One day, he goes to the local Goodwill and films a new video. But when he uploads the dude, my don't why don't my Goodwills look like that? Goodwill and like, look at that shit. They got like Monopolies and Jumanji and like they got all these cool things, bro. They got like a they got like a Puss 3D or something. In my Goodwill, there's just literally cum cum rags. Get out of here, dude. Films a new video, but when he uploads the footage to YouTube, his viewers are shocked. It seems that Jesse caught something very unexpected. Something downright creepy. And that's one good thing about Dude, this Goodwill's so good! Oh my god. Oh man, we never get a good Goodwill, bro. They got Madden 09? Command and Conquer Tiberium Wars? What? Oh my god, dude, I hate it, man. I honestly, I, I hate that so much. Can I just be honest? Like, Goodwill is, like, such a homey place for me. I remember, like, when when I was a kid, like, because cause we're immigrants and everything, right? Like, for us, when we were, when we, when, like, my parents and I first came to this country. No, like, Goodwill, Goodwill is a great, but when my parents and I first came to this country, like, Goodwill was obviously one of the places where we were, like, getting our shit. Because, obviously, for immigrant families, money isn't exactly the easiest thing to have. So it was like, all right, let's go for some Goodwill stuff. And I don't know, man. I, dude, I'll be honest. That, man, that may, that brings me back, though. I always loved going to Goodwill with my parents. Like, I never got anything, but sometimes it was just really... It was a good vibe, man. I remember this one time I went to a Goodwill that was just... They had all this tech stuff back in the day. Like, it could be a crappy VCR, a te, like a old television from the 50s. And I was just like, man... Oh, that stuff's a vibe, though. That stuff is a straight-up vibe, man. I'm, if I could go back in time and relive those days... Woo! I'd relive them. Goodwill's great, though. Like, if... I don't care... Dude, I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you got. There's always a treasure at Goodwill waiting for you. You just gotta find it, bro. You gotta, you gotta like, search for it, you know? 
Nothing is scary. I don't know, bro. It's scary about as fuck. Doing this for so many years, I fighters anthology. Just by looking, right? I don't. Bro, just... like Gorasul. Oh, I'd buy that. Scan every single one of these. Oh no! Wait, what else do they have over here? Wait, what? What are the PS2 games? Sorry, guys, I'm pausing this, but I really want to look at what they have. Ooh, they got SOCOM, U.S. Navy SEALs. Oh, bro. Oh, NCAA. Isn't that shit like actually rare now? Like the NCAA games. Oh, that is insane. Single one of these things. Oh my god. Now, prices always fluctuate, so I always recommend scanning everything. And did you see it? Whoa. I can't believe I missed that. That's not a ghost, bro. That's another item behind him, isn't it? That's not a ghost. That's another item, dude. No way. Did you see it? When Jesse pulls out a shiny CD case to take a better look, the reflection of a smiling woman can be seen right behind him. Now, Jesse was all alone. No, no, no. He flipped it one more time. Uh, dude, that looks like an item behind him. What? It looks like a generic Jesse photo. Jesse was all alone that day, and as he turns Turn around... around. Mm. Oh, yeah, now it's creepy. Now it's really weird. Okay, I'm sorry. No one there. Uh, yeah. And there's video proof that Jesse was alone. As he enters the store, we see his lone reflection in the glass. But the really weird thing here is, when Jesse first pulls out the CD case, there's no one in the reflection. Whoever this woman is, she just suddenly appears and then disappears. Yo, this is like weird because like you know that this guy didn't edit that in because like what does he gain with editing something that like look at how well that's edited in if it is so it's clearly real I think but it's just like what out of thin air I don't know Jesse himself replied to the shock comments on his video and said that even he finds the creepy sudden appearance quote pretty scary but what do you think did Jesse capture a ghost at the goodwill and I think Jesse captured the ghost of a Shutterstock footage, but Why like, is she smiling? I don't know, cause she just found the good crack. Let me know your thoughts. That's why, dude. <laughs> Paranormal puppies. Hell yeah, dude. In this very Doggo. quick video from an unknown source, a dog seems to hear. Bro, what is furry force? I've seen it like ten times. If it's, if I look, if I see like tentacle cock, I'm banning you. I want to see this. What's furry force? What the hell? Dude, this is from like 2014, bro. Get out of here. I'm not going to watch something that old. Stop it. All right, that's old. Furry force. Something inside a room and scratches at the door. It did not go well. Hell yeah, brother. Open up a Oh. <laughs> Whoa. A strange white mist seems to float right through the door, and the dog wants no part of it. In this next clip, sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Anita Barella, a man says that he has seen and heard some strange paranormal things around his home. And now it seems like the ghost might be messing with his dog, too. You get a multi-driver discount, you get a multi-car discount, and things like that. But, the insurance wouldn't be in your name. As the dog is chewing on its toy, something seems to rip the chew toy right out of its mouth and fling it across the room. Now, I think we can all agree here. Ghost haunting and terrifying humans, that's just good entertainment. But leave the doggos alone, ghosts. I, I I don't even know what to say to that. I I don't I don't even know what to say to that. Along goes. I, just say Amogus. I know you tried to say Amogus. Just say that. That's my statement. Anyway, <laughs> the thing in the shed. Alexei Chiripanov from the YouTube channel Traverza lives in the remote countryside of Russia. After you can tell it's real, dude. Russians don't fake this stuff. 
Some odd experiences, Alexei believes that some strange person or thing might be living in the woods near his home. Dude, do you not know crackheads live everywhere, okay? Noises, From St. Petersburg to Santa Fe, movement, crackheads are the same. Outside. He heads out to investigate, filming with his phone in hopes of capturing evidence. Oh yeah, yeah, brother, somebody's in my shed. That's a knee slapper. Hey! Hey! You've got to get out of there. Just, just run, bro. Run! Hey! Who? Bro! Get out of there! <laughs> Bro, that crackhead's enjoying their time. Come back later. Do you think dude's got a shotgun or something? Does the dude have a shotty ready to go? <laughs> what the? Dude, this Russian guy. Oh my god, dude. The Russian dude's base. He's about to walk in. Alexei demands that whoever is in the shed leave, but the person or thing just angrily throws around objects in the shed while screaming in a strange yipping wail. But the intruder stays out of sight. Judging by the strange screeches, Alexei now begins to wonder if he might be dealing with some kind of strange creature. He looks into the shed's side window to get a better look, and his blood runs cold. What was that? No, no, there's like... Oh, bro, that that's a, that's a level 45 crackhead, bro. That's a level 45 crack... Yo, can I be honest? Nuke stepped his game up. Nuke has stepped his game up right now. Nuke's not kidding around. He's showing level 45 crackheads. You better stay away. This is my crack house. <laughs> Get a shoddy ready. I don't think his blood's running cold. I think he's just mad. Oh, one more glimpse of the crackhead. Let's see this. Yeah, no, that's that's a that's a level forty five, boys. Alexi sees someone or something peeking back at him from inside the shed, something with glowing eyes. But is Alexi's encounter real or just part of some elaborate ARG? You decide. You can watch Alexi's many encounters with this person or creature. Dude, I want to just make a video on my base boy Alexi and why he hasn't brought out the clash and cov on this. Over on his YouTube if this, channel. Dude, I'll be honest. If this was real, if this was real, okay? Like I'm just going, if this was actually real, you tell, you're telling me, you tell me you wouldn't bring the AK-47 next time to the garage? All right, like, I'm be honest with you, okay? Crackhead, raccoon, whatever you want to call it. I'm bringing a goddamn AK-47. All right, we're, we're done, dude. I'm getting four of my boys. We're giving each other clashing costs and flashbangs, and we're going in, boys. We do not care. All right, goddamn. All right, we'll bring some Saiga 12s to the party, dude. No need to pump that shoddy. What if you don't have a firearm? I'm going to call the local police officer and be like, Sir, there's a crackhead in my shack. Yes, you may go into my actual shed and find the crackhead. 
All right? That's what I do. I mean, if I, if I see two or three of them, RPG 7 the shed. Don't matter. Don't care. Didn't ask. Plus ratio. Plus you're out. Okay? Done. Muda, do you, uh, do you watch UFC? Oh, don't, man. Is there a round 20 zombie in Nuketown BO2? Wait, Black Ops 2 had Nuketown? Oh, yeah, it's a pre-order DLC, right. In Russia, exorcism is exclusively through unarmed personal combat. I believe in Millhouse. Evening, Muda. Have you ever heard of Camelot 331 boycott of GameStop? They're apparently forcing employees to work Thanksgiving like eight hours, eight bucks an hour. I don't know that, man. I heard game. I mean, it's GameStop, dude. That place is like. Do you guys know that? Like, apparently, I heard it was so bad to work at GameStop, or Games GameStop. Yeah, that uh, apparently they did like a national poll, and I'm not entirely. Don't quote me on this, but I heard that like there were people who were like romance spa janitors who enjoyed their job there better. So imagine, like, a jizz mopper, okay? Like, probably, like, there's some dude cleaning jizz <laughs> at a romance spa, and they're going, at least it ain't GameStop, at least it ain't GameStop, dude. At least it ain't GameStop, brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, don't quote me on that. I heard somebody telling me that, and I was like, there's no way that's true. Have you ever seen a level 100 crackhead yet? 100, 20, 20, thank you, blood. No, I uh, I haven't thankfully seen a level 20 crackhead yet. multi hog gaming, better get your virtual machine, Buddha. The crackhead might be a deep web jacker. Oops, I mean hacker. Person, actually, I have seen a level 100 crackhead, dude. When I was leaving my buddy's place, you tried to break my car window. That was a level 100 crackhead. I know these are fake, but some of them are still making me uncomfortable. I don't think Nuke makes the videos. He just, like, finds them on the internet. The actual channels really do. Me and my girlfriend love your videos. Thank you, Demon God. The Jin. Ah, oh, the Jin not. This next video is a bit of a mystery as I've been unable to find the source. It's the video probably seems to be a recorded bullet. by a CCTV camera situated in a mosque during prayer time. Uh You know, I believe that, actually. I actually legitimately believe that one. I actually straight up believe it. Let me tell you guys why. So, here's, this is actually a real, like, ghost story time. So, I'm Muslim, as you guys know. So, I do, like, Eid. Like, I celebrate that. And so, for, like, Eid, sometimes you go back home to see family. And uh, some nights, okay, like, throughout the whole month of it, we had actually went to prayer for like Isha prayer you know so if you don't know Muslims pray five times a day so I pray five times a day Fajr, Zar, Asr, Maghrib, Isha Isha's like late okay so we went over there we went to a mosque late at night because we're like it's in the area let's go well, let's pray alright let's just do it out there dude that entire time we went praying there was me my cousin and like one dude it is, I actually believe it 100%. Like, there's one dude late at night, all right, like, fully, like, clothed up, like, head to toe, can't notice the dude's face, and he's just sort of, like, sitting there, sitting down and praying, bro. That was, like, I'll be real. Like, I didn't, like, nudge on a shoulder. It could be, like, some guy, like, praying all day over at the masjid. Maybe somebody's, like, staying there because that's, like, home for them, but, like, it's interesting because I've heard like usually at late night that's when like jinns go to pray, like I've heard that floating around. I don't know, man. It's it's I don't I don't mind that though. Like it's this I don't know. Like this CCTV footage is probably fake, but like it depends on when it's shot. Like what time is it in here? Like six thirty-five. Is is this twenty-four hour time or like PM? There's not a lot of. I mean, shit could be. A dark figure suddenly runs across the room and disappears. I don't know. I don't know if jinns can go to mosques or not. I've heard, like, I, don't, I don't know how true that statement is either because I heard jinns are also like... It's like jinns can also be religious as well. There's, you know, it's not like... I don't know. There's right through a wall. Some believe this mysterious apparition to be a jinn. A supernatural creature believed to be a spirit. That looks kind of fake though. Like, look at it right here, okay? Like, closely look at the footage real quick. Okay, when like the dude's running. Oh, sorry. 
Look at this footage real quick, guys. Okay, look at this footage real quick. So this it's is what they're saying is fake, right? So you see, like, this footage right here? That's where the gin is, okay? So, like, if we just move it... To be a gin, they kind of like a supernatural. Look, look at look at this. They kind of like they, they, they kind of like run through. I don't know. It's fake footage. I think it's fake. Demon, but I think it's fake as hell think? footage. I think it's like overlaid or transposition or something. Late one night, Brazilian YouTuber Balian and his oh yeah, Brazil again, and set out to explore a vacant and supposedly haunted train station. The railway depot has been abandoned for many years after a passing train violently derailed. Taking the lives I'm of not going to do the dot thing. No, I'm not going to do the dot search on YouTube because sometimes it actually does bring back pornography. And that'll get me like straight up banned, dude. They added a notch. Wait, what? They revealed a new MacBook? Oh my god, I might buy. Actually, I've been using a Mac, boys. I'll be honest with you. I like the MacBook. What is the new MacBook stuff here? Oh my god, did they add the new MacBook? No fucking way, boys. Available starting 20... Oh my god, that's in like no day. What? Oh my god! Do I dare order this chat? Oh my god, I actually been wanting a newer MacBook. Do I buy this, boys? The M1 Pro MacBook? Do I dare, boys? God, I think I'm gonna buy a fucking MacBook, boys. I don't care what you guys say, boys. This looks good. What is this? The 16 inch? Oh, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. What's the M1 Max? Do I dare, boys? Do I dare buy it? Do I go for the most expensive fucking Mac right now? Silver or space, space gray all day? Hell yeah. What's the 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU? Th Bro, act, dude, I've been needing a new. I so listen, I have the M1 Mac right here. Okay, so I got like, okay, listen, listen, listen. I got the M1 MacBook right here, okay? This is like the entry level MacBook, okay? Like M1. This is a good laptop. I probably think it's one of my best fucking laptops, all right? Like, I hate, like, I'll give credit where credit is due, all right? Like, y'all can bully me all you want, okay? But, uh, I think I might buy it right now. Fuck it, dude. It comes with ports? Look, I actually use it, all right? Get out of here. What? Now y'all are bullying me, dude. What's the M1 Max? M1 Max. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Introducing the M1 Max. Delivers up to 70% fucking faster performance than m1 dude the m1 is already badass what do i use it for everything dude like i edit on the go with it i use it for a lot of like i actually do use it for programming stuff fuck you guys i'm gonna do now you guys are bullying me okay i'm gonna buy a macintosh fuck you four thousand three hundred and ninety nine dollars Hell yeah, hell yeah, brother. Do I do I get absolutely anally ripped off and go for the 64 gigs of memory? Ooh, boy, oh boy. Do I pay the 500 bucks for it? Do I pay the 500 for that shit? Hell yeah, brother. Everyone's like, do it, no balls. You guys are fucking assholes. I'm gonna go for it, dude. Backlit, U.S. English, dude. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. 64 gigs of memory, brother. Hell yeah. Add to the bag. <laughs> Y'all are bullying me, dude. Y'all are like... Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. $5,535. Paying full or... Hell yeah, dude. Can I add a gift message? Yeah. 
What? We'll type that in. They're gonna have to legally write that, right? They're gonna have to write that shit in, right? They're gonna have to write it, aren't they? They're gonna have to write it, boys. They're gonna have to write poggers. I'm gonna get Apple to write me poggers, boys. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, brother. Sign with my Apple ID. Y'all are bullying me, dude. I'm gonna show you guys a use for it. Alright, what's my iCloud? I forgot my iCloud account. Fuck. Y'all, y'all are just y'all. Y'all hate it. Like I'm buying a fucking Mac. But listen, okay, boys. I'm gonna be honest. I use Macs. All right. I do use I. This is why I, I literally do use Macs as the entire thing, okay? Like, honest to God, I actually do use Apple products. Like, I use my MacBook, okay? I'll be honest. I do use it for work stuff, okay? And I'll be completely real, okay? The, this is why I don't use... Okay, this is why I don't use like just standard PC laptops in a lot of ways. Um, wait, hold on a second. Is that Mac? Do they have like um? Did it? Wait! Whoa! 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 Oh my God! Wait, this is fucking huge. Did I just miss this? Guys, is there literally no more Intel at all? What? Wait, what? I didn't even notice that. Guys, am I reading it right? Did they just fucking drop Intel? Completely? Wait, no, bullshit. This gotta be in the fucking iMac, right? They gotta have it in, like, the, the iMac, right? Oh, wait a minute. No. It's not in the iMac. I'm Mac Pro. Ma they're in the Mac Pro, right? Like, yeah, they're in the fucking Mac Pro. It's in the Mac Pro, at least. Surely you jest, friend. I love your content. I love you listen to your spooky content while working overnight shift. Thanks, Dimlet. Thank you, Top Hat Walrus. What's up? You got me into VMs and coding? Welcome to the club. Oh, so they got Intel for the... For the okay, so they have... Mid Wait, is this the outdated Mac Pro? Dude, that's fucking insane. So, like... Okay, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't the MacBook their most sold, like... PC-like device, right? Oh! No, 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 no. See? So, okay, so their iMac is an Apple M1 chip. They have a 27-incher that's, like, an i9. And then they have a Xeon W for the Pro. Wait, guys, that's fucking wild. That's like, that's, damn, son. Leaked address. Actually, guys, no, I'm using a VPN so you guys don't actually see my uh, postal code. Pro tip, a lot of the, if you're browsing internet stuff, okay? If you ever browse internet stuff, I wanna let you guys know something and you stream, Always flip yourself through a VPN. So you're fucking, um, so, uh, so like every time Google like starts whipping out your IP or like whatever, it starts giving you something different. Don't actually do anything. But, uh, yeah, I kind of don't care. Even if I get doxxed at this point, like fucking go for it. Can you get a leaked address? Go for it, dude. I don't care. Um, you actually need a VPN, by the way, just so you can play games like GTA 5, because it gives out your static IP address for some fucking stupid reason. I really do want the MacBook, though. 
I really think I really do like it. Like I really do want that. Wait, it doesn't come with a touch bar? What? The touch bar is so pog though. Why wouldn't it come with the fucking touch bar? I don't get it. That's bullshit. I'll be honest, guys. I really, I really do. I really do want it though. I think, I think, listen, okay, look, I don't buy anything that much in my life. I'm a very frugal person. Like, I don't live in a fancy, like, fucking mega mansion. I don't live, I don't drive, like, a fucking mega Lamborghini. So, this is like, this is like one of those splurge purchases, okay? Alright, it is what it is. I'm sorry, okay? Like, this is the kind of shit that I nerd out about, okay? Like, I don't, I don't do anything in that case. Ugh. Alright, shit. Where's the fucking... What's my Apple ID? Oh. Why do I look strung out on heroin? Jesus Christ, man. Have I really aged that bad? Christ. Whatever, I'll do it later. I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna like leak anything. I'm probably gonna leak a credit card with my fucking stupid mind. Let's go back to the, let's go back to top 10 scary ghost videos. Locals say that late at night you can hear pleading voices and screams coming from the wreckage of the old train. The station is said to be cursed and visitors are warned to stay away. Balian and his friends split up to explore the area and they each record their experience. Balian's friend and fellow YouTuber Isabella finds herself getting a little freaked out as she begins- Okay, I'm sorry. Do you go near a place like that, guys? Look at this shit, dude. Look at that! You might as well stab- What?! Self ...getting a little freaked out as Y'all people be wild noises ...coming from an abandoned house near the train station. What happens next chills her to the core. Oh, is there something in there? Dude, you run. <laughs> Fucking run. You didn't think you saw you saw something. Bro, either she's a really good actress, but like that's like that sounds like some genuine cries. Dude, she's like legitimately bawling right something now. Walks past the window scary. inside an abandoned house near the train wreck. Isabella runs in fear and tries to warn her friends. Meanwhile, team members Lucas and Hockeynim are exploring another area when they too experience something terrifying. A gente já veio aqui, a Isabela tá assustada. Certeza que ela tá assustada. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, they just heard something. I was like, I thought I saw something in the window. The two explorers run back to the car and the group agrees that they should just all get out of there. So did they catch a real haunting at the abandoned train yard? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Bro, I think that's staged. You now I think it's staged, man. I don't know. That look, that Sorry. like looked really good. I I don't look, I can I probably can understand why people would stage this, but like at the same time, like Christ, brother, I don't know. That looks kind of staged a little bit, doesn't it? I don't know, chat. What do you guys think? Real or fake? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of fakes, man. Y'all are dropping the fake in. You guys are definitely dropping the fake bombs in there. Fake arenas in the chat for sure. It's real fake? Yeah, I don't know, bro. It looks... This shit looks wild, though. I'm gonna be honest. That shit looks insane. 
Guys, I said I'll look at Mandela catalog later, like on my own. I have Unholy. it written down. A few months ago, I featured a very creepy paranormal investigation shared by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. Together with his nephew, I want to read these titles. What? Well, what are the titles? Let me see a few the titles. Ago, I featured a very creepy paranormal. I want to see the title shared again. By ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. Solo challenge in haunted church. <laughs> Did I come across a? Cr I feel. I feel like some of these. We caught the crackhead. Together with his nephew Eli, Dell investigated a church in Chester, South Carolina, that is over 200 years old. In I believe it. When a church is over 100 years old, they got some crazy shit. What is going on, dude? What is on Twitter? Stop it, okay? Where's the? Stop bugging me! I will not answer Twitter. It's too late for this. <laughs> Gamer from R2 Spooky for me. Of dark ritual I'm just saying, if you're a hundred year old church, Dell something's gone on there. Some very strange and horrifying paranormal activity inside the church. There's a presence here. Could you make yourself known? Ooh. That's really the ghost, though. Like, is that is that the extent of it? Are we serious? That's the extent of the ghost. It just like <laughs> it just like played a note on the pe My, you know cats do that doesn't mean it's haunted stop out of here it's like this dude shows like legit crackheads with their eyes open bulging at you in Japan and the first scary video is like piano sound dude bro Come on, just play the piano one more time for me. What was that? I couldn't tell the watermark was all the way there, Nuke. What are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Did you used to play? Oh piano? shit! There it is. Piano here. Now the Signs and Signals team, David and Dell, haven't been very active on YouTube in a while. That is until one night, the two friends happened to drive past that same church in Chester, South Carolina, and they noticed something very odd. They pull over and start to film. I got it. I got it. I don't know. Yeah, it's recording, it's recording. I don't know, for some reason. You see it? Yeah, it's a light. Is it a candle? I can't tell if it's a candle. I really don't want to get out. I... <laughs> it looks like it's a candle. Dude. <laughs> Bro, why do they sound like they're blitzed right now? <laughs> like, it sounds like a candle, dude. Bro, that looks like a candle. I think I think they're a little high right now, bro. I don't want Oh shit, what was that? It looks like it's a candle. Dude. I don't want to get Ain't out. Nobody's supposed to be here. There's no cars here. No. Uh, oh, that was just a video yeah, artifact. Yeah, Come on. I thought something uh, is in there looking at him. Dude, it's a candle. Oh, snap. <laughs> bro, what? The crackhead broke into the church, friends. Oh, God. Oh, Get God. in and go. What the hell is that? No, 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 no. Dude. David and Get in and go. One of the church's windows, even though no one is supposed to be inside. Then suddenly they see a mysterious dark shape move quickly by the window. Now David and Dell decide to just get out of there. But they say they wonder if they accidentally caught some sort of dark ritual going on inside the empty church. Just like the strange ceremonies held there over 100 years ago. You can watch more paranormal investigations and terrifying experiences at the church. Uh, let me look at their channel real quick. This is a good gauge of indication. Hold on. 
So we just like method rituals, I know, right? Signs and signals, right? Signals YouTube. I want to see this channel for what it is. Signs and, and signals. Okay, so signs and signals was a channel. Literally, it's just made like. It's not that old of a channel, to be honest with you. What is this? Video. Haunted church. Footage of shadow figure. Return to haunted church. Is this lake haunted? Oh, no way. Don't do this. In upstate South Carolina lies a lake just west Don't of. Don't tell me he, he brought the. You need to pass down. No, dude. No, dude. Dude. What is this? He's using the phone app. Oh, no. Oh, that's. Oh, man. That's wild, and dude. I like this channel, though. I think I think this guy's got it. Like. He's, you know, it's a, you know what it is though, like, I, you know what it is. I think it's a hobbyist who's like investigating the paranormal guys, and I think they're doing the best they can, man. Can we get some love to signs and signals in the chat, guys? Can we, can we like, can we, can we, can we, can we give some love to this channel? Can we like sub to it or something? Can we give these guys like a boost in the algo? I guess. I don't know. This guy, this guy seems like a good vibe. Nah, you know, like, part of me, like, looks at that, and I'm like, ah, that's, like, I don't know, like, listen, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna sit there and, like, say anything, but, like, this needs to be updated, for sure. <laughs> this is not a real place for you to get ghost box uh, talk, and whatever, dude, at the end of the day, they're just having a fun time, like, hunting ghosts and shit. Whatever it is, their their uh their church game, like that's where it is, dude. They're also doing like a random nautica videos. Huh. Is this a demon or a poltergeist? I don't know. They're actually going out in places. What is this? Okay, I'm someone's here. No, that's in the back. That's in the back still. They're doing what they can, man. They're they're doing what they're they're making like ghosts. They got the cinematic shit going to it. I like it. It's oh, cool. Yeah. This is the second channel. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Oh. Dude, that was not like that. A minute ago, bro. That is static. Uh, if you're here and you want to communicate, you can not once for yes. This is raw fucking ghost hunting, boys. This is raw ghost hunting today. God damn. This is like raw. This is like phasmophobia, dude. Was that you? Can you understand me? Fuck yeah, brother. I think it. I think it is again. Dude, this is raw ass ghost hunting, dude. This is raw ghost hunting, boys. I'm be honest with you. This is some IRL phasmophobia shit. Dude, it's so bad. I think you guys uh, came into a used meth lab or something. They should bring brighter flashlights upon next exploration. Sulfur or a bad smell is the sign of a bad spirit. It could also be the sign of a drug lab, maybe? I don't know, dude. Someone either ripped some ass or someone either made some methy poo, you know? It is what it is. At the church, over on David and Dell's YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. Interference. This next video was sent to me by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Adam Gamble. Hell yeah, brother. He says that Nukes the video was five. sent to him by a friend from work. Recently, the man's dog had developed a strange cough. So one night, as his wife is laying in bed watching TV, the dog begins to cough and she starts to record so she can show it to the veterinarian. 
What she ends up recording, however, takes her completely by surprise. Bring on the spookies? This is the spookies, dude. She's watching some good old... Explain shadow darts from right to left. Oh, right that, that's fake as fuck, bro. I'm sorry. That's fake as fuck. Front of the TV. Whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be part of the TV show that she... Bro, that's so poorly edited. No, no, lo lo look at it real quick. No, like, actually look at it real quick. <laughs> no, let's, let's go back. Let's go back and try crossing. Bro, if you're gonna edit in something, at least also block the TV receiver. That's noticeable. Stop. That's, that's, a, that's a god, that's fake arena, okay? We, we can't sit here and abide, all right, these borderline fakes, dude. All right, Among Us is scarier than this shit. From right to left, right in front of the TV. Whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be part of the TV show that she's oh, watching. Oh, really? Oh, fuck, perceptive today, aren't we, Nuke? <laughs> As it completely covers the main characters. <laughs> I love Nuke's commentary. He's like, clearly it's not part of the TV. Did you get that, chat? Did you understand that? Good. Also seems to be crossing in front of the TV as it blacks out all light. Adam says that he hopes that someone might have an answer to just what this could be. So what do you think it is? Oh, I'll show you guys what I think it is, so... All right, here's what I think it is, boys. You guys want to know what I think it is? So there's this thing. There's this, like, tool that uh, can help you detect ghosts on video. So if you guys want to know what it is, it's uh, this is actually, like, a legit tool that people use to find ghosts. So it's this thing called, like, After Effects, right? So, like, basically they use this, like, patented artificial intelligence capture detection technology to help you find ghosts. So this person is part of a paranormal environment. So as you can see... They're actually using a paranormal tracking tool to isolate the environment and detect the actual ghost um, in 2D and 3D vector space. That's what they use. It's a great tool called After Effects. And no worries, their dog is well and doing fine. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here, Twitter, right there. And uh, someone. I wonder, I wonder. I'm gonna follow him on Twitter, dude. Where is it? Twitter, Nukes Top Five. Hell yeah, brother. Nukes Top Five. Hell yeah, brother. What? I'm such an asshole. Nuke follows me. I'm following you right back, baby. Nuke, your video gave me bubble guts. Good job. Good job, brother. Good job. Stop correcting me, Samsung. Good job. There it is, boys. I just, I just, I just told Nuke that his video did it. The video gave me the good one. It gave me the bubbly guts. Then there's also a TikTok. Hmm. Nuke, I love you, brother, but I ain't fucking following you on Tik. I ain't following anyone on TikTok, brother. I ain't going on that shit at all. Anyway. I'll see you next week. Fucking love this guy, dude. New dude, nuke up, dude. Nuke went fucking ham on that upload, bro. We need more of that nuke, dude. The nuke that shows us full, dude. He should just he should just rename this to like nukes top five crackhead finds. Hundred percent, brother. God damn. Let's look at Mexican ghost hunting, dude. Because I think Mexican ghost hunting is even more insane, bro. Like, they, they find some wild shit in Mexico. Alright. Ghost hunting with my Mexican parents. No, I don't need to find... Mm, we don't need the Mexican parents. Is that Peely from Fortnite? Oh, dude. Well, this ain't Mexican ghost hunting. Get out of here. <laughs> Five ghosts that scared ghost hunters. Mexican ghost hunters. No, I just I want to find Mexico ghost. Okay, Mexico ghost. Dude, Mexico has some wild ghost huntings. Okay, Ghost Satan Prayer Live Mexico 2020. Holy shit! 
Oh, that's like a that's like TV footage. I can't I can't watch that. Otherwise, they like copyright identify you. Unexplained ghostly encounters. No, I'm not watching anything with an obviously like fake screenshot. Whatever. We're going back to like nuke. Okay. All right. Ghost caught on camera. Oh shit. That's that's the that's the that's the search result of all time. Ghost caught on camera. Ghost caught on camera? Question mark. Nah, bro. We need to find like some real spooky shit, dude. Five scariest ghost sightings caught on camera. Hell yeah, dude. We got a new challenger in the video mix, Infinite. What's going on, guys? Infinite lists here. Before the video starts, make sure to press that subscribe button so you never miss any videos. Also, comment down below if you have subscribed, and I might actually reply to you. Dude, Turn this on. is from 2016, bro. Wait, wait. This is a big-ass channel. 18.1 million? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Wait, just a goddamn 18.1 million fucking subscribers and what? This dude's like weird squid game apps. He's got like, um, he's got, wait, what? Dude's got like, uh, dude's got like sniper wolf thumbnails. It's like back then, five scariest ghost sightings caught on camera. What? Okay. Notifications so you never miss a video or right, let's any go updates down. on air and gets pulled back into the doorway, but is caught by his mother, luckily. Yeah. Bro, what? A local news station heard what was going on, so they tried to capture what was happening. Oh, well, they, they definitely fucking could have brought some lighting to the mix, I guess, shit. Had the boy stand up against the wall, and the boy got dragged Bro, to his left. What yeah, is that? The crackhead has smoked the good shit. He is invisible now. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, brother. Dude's getting, dude's getting like the, the crackhead dipped in the U.S. military grade crack, bro. The CIA's got some crazy shit going, dude. God damn. I'll be, I'll be honest, bro. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's pretty wild. <laughs> That's pretty that I'll be I'll be completely real. That shit is sus to me 100%. I don't care what anyone says. Don't ask, didn't care plus sus. The mother catches her son and some people say this is a hoax, but the boy actually looks like he is getting dragged away. I don't see how they could fake this. It looks very real. Honestly, what would they gain from doing this? The next what video would they gain from doing this? Boy, <laughs> I don't know. Views, maybe? Here we have is the ghost at the Hayeswood Hospital. This hospital has been closed and abandoned since 1983. This video was also uploaded in 2006, just a couple months after YouTube was actually created. It was probably filmed by someone just exploring around at night. You can hear the girl on the camera saying something like, what is that in the window? And when they spot the figure, the figure actually moves out of sight, which scares the girl recording. Bro, that was so fucking fake. I'll debunk it right now, guys. Bro, look at the shit keyframing job there. Look at the face and as we go frame by frame, Bro, that is the shittiest keyframing job. Look at how it just jumps position. That's legit one of the worst keyframing jobs that I've ever seen. Oh my god. That's not real, brother. That's not real, brother. Keyframing job, dude. Failed. This next clip has been pretty viral around the past years, so a lot of you have probably seen it. This clip is called The Ghost Attack at the Malaysian Hospital. At first, you see the camera recording a chair, and the chair actually starts moving. <laughs> dude, downloaded this shit off Live Leak. Like, what? Who's on fucking Live Leak, bro? with no one around and then the door to the left actually slams shut again no one is around the camera then goes to a girl sitting in a chair all alone she quickly turns her head because she thinks she hears 
a chair moving behind her. A couple seconds after I've that, seen this, dude. Moves right that is not, her, dude. I doubt that out of the 100%. Chair. The woman after that tries to escape the room because there is only one exit, and a ton of chairs and tables actually block the exit. This woman has to be freaked out at this point, so she goes to the back of the room and then suddenly just drops to the floor. No one has figured out why she has dropped to the floor. Maybe she got knocked out by the ghost or slipped. No one knows if this is a hoax, but no, I, 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 I you listen, listen. I'm, I'm gonna put my balls on the line and say this is some bullshit, okay? That's some bullshit. This film was actually used later on in a Malaysian film. What? Yeah, they used this later on in a movie. Maybe it fucking came from the movie though. On our next clip, we have the hallway spirit. This clip has gone around. This clip has been pretty viral as it seems to be very real. This video features a man walking down the hall as a sudden dark figure appears right in front of him. The man drops to the floor and is dragged about three feet in front of him. The figure sees- That- That's so laughably fake! Stop it! Infinite, you can't fall for these things! Infinite straight- Infinite straight up blind to me, dude. Infinite's not finding this shit scary. Get out of here. I'm trying to, like, isolate if this is real. I'm trying to, like, look at the other screen of, like, what movie this thing is from, but I can't find it. ...to drop him, as you can see the figure... Like, no, dude, the dude! Hall, ...and the man being scared runs back to the beginning this of the This local hall. crack People dealer should have sold. This is fake, but the way his legs and arm flail in the air made it look impossible to be fake. Oh, dude, you... Dude, inf infinite, infinite's being, infinite's being a little too naive for me. I'm gonna get out of here. What is this, bizarre bub? Oh hell yeah, bizarre bub. Scary comp v1. What? No way. Here's a video to start off the Halloween season just right. A couple of kids are by themselves inside a house when they captured this terrifying footage. Ines de la Cruz, who suggested the video, writes, A couple of siblings were alone inside their grandparents' house when something extremely creepy was caught on camera by one of them. This is what they caught. What do you think they caught, boys? Is that a shotgun being cocked? What the fuck? I was like, I was like, what? Eh, esta es la casi porque y mi mamá espérense que mi mamá y mi abuela se fueron al Oxxo a comprar velas por eso por lo que pasó de que se fue la luz y pues estamos aquí estas son las mi abuelito espérense no sean chillones we're about to find no, some wild ass stuff bro y esas son las cenizas de mi bisabuelo porque pues desgraciadamente él ya falleció <laughs> I love how she has to explain like these are the ashes of my great grandfather I mean he died of course this is why we have them it's totally nothing else y y el baño está allá el baño mi hermano quiere hacer pipí pero el baño está allá y mi abuela nos dijo que cuidáramos bro <laughs> Get back inside. You don't need me to tell you that. <laughs> Man, stop pointing in the arrows, okay? I'm not that stupid. Trust me, I know. Oh, dude, somebody wrote I got a tiny dick in the chat. Now we all know, ha huh? Don't worry, dude, I got a tiny dick too. <laughs> Pero espérense. Pero pues, el problema es que aquí no sabemos. Bro, is this just normal in like Mexico? Like when you see a crackhead, do you just go near it? Es, y pues. No, Dog, tiene... you got a you got a crackhead in the area, mal. okay? It's a Mexican ¿Sí? crackhead. ¿Estás aquí? They're the same as every other crackhead. Bro! Run! If you're here with us, they're right there! Uh, what? Oh my god, dude, Mexicans are brave! Yeah. 
someone or something is hiding in what appears to be a shed, when suddenly, the thing inside comes flying out and scares the living daylights out of the children. Talk about traumatic childhood experiences. This is definitely one of them. Now, based on this last scene, it could be that the shadowy apparition is in fact some sort of animal that was taking shelter inside the shed. What appears to be an apparition may actually be a bird or a bat as it seems to come flying out of the shed. However, this doesn't explain the shadowy figure that was seen early in the video. Whatever this is, it doesn't seem to be any kind of bat or bird, let alone an animal. Most viewers think that this may have been a malevolent entity seeking to do harm. As with all videos, I leave this one open to interpretation. Was a ghost caught on camera? Or was something else entirely different caught instead? Yeah, bro, it's a crackhead. That's not a ghost, dude. That's a crackhead. Mexicans are too brave for this shit. The following video no shows figure. footage of a barber shop Around during here. business hours when suddenly all the barbers inside the shop encounter something beyond belief. Barber T had obtained this recording from the security camera inside the shop after experiencing this creepy encounter. Here's the footage that was posted by him, along with the text-to-speech voice explaining the video's events. Be sure to look closely for this one, as something else happens that a lot of viewers missed the first time. Take a look. So we just realized the barber shop is haunted. I didn't notice. Bro, the they're all just baked in there. They're all just fucking baked. All <laughs> moved at first. They're like, yo, bro, do you see that door just fly open? Fucking ghost. Am I right, boys? I don't know, dude. Could be an alien. We never know. <laughs> bro, they're baked as shit in there. <laughs> Motherfucker. 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 Bro. Pay attention to the door. Oh, dude, the door shut off. Oh my god, bro. Look, bro, they're not even scared. Look, look, look at this dude, like, laughing right now. It's like, bro, there's a fucking door. Thank you, Kush Doc, for the dones, brother. Thank you for the 20, brother. God damn, appreciate it. That dude's just so that dude. They're all baked as shit in there, dude. <laughs> it was all jokes and giggles until. Okay. Oh, fuck, it opened again. My boy John was super spooked, and so was I. The shop is for sale now, if someone is interested. A door all of a sudden opens on its own, and then promptly closes itself seconds later. It continues to do this until stopping about a minute later. The barbers were left spooked, as seen on camera. Now something else happens in this video that you might have missed. At the start of the video, we see the door opening for the first time. It is around this time, though, that a transparent figure passes by the TV. Whatever this is, viewers- We're really stretching the definition of the word figure, by the way, okay? Like, we're actually really stretching the fucking image. Like, we're really just pushing the definition right now, okay? Like, that that's a figure? I don't know, bro. I'm just saying. All right, we're really trying to go. To believe that it may be responsible for the strange activity, but things were only getting started. Who said that, Alex Jones? <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? It's like it was barely a figure. As a Mexican, I confirm we don't simply care. Oh, trust me, Golden. That video showed me. Adam. It said, hi, dude, I just want to say much love from Alaska. Another Alaskan viewer, goddamn. Because what happens next is just downright creepy. An hour later, Thank one of the barbers Pearson? approaches the door when the following happens. What you're about to see is some aggressive paranormal activity. I really didn't want to touch the door handle.
Boy, you can really tell how scary and traumatizing this experience is. Look at this guy real quick. He sees that door blo uh, block off, and he's just like, whatever, let me get back to fucking work. I'm an artiste, after all. Look at that. He just goes back to fucking work. He's like... <laughs> he's like, whatever, the door shut off. Better get back to this fade, brother. Look at everyone's reaction. Yeah, I'm looking at the reaction. This dude does not fucking care. He's back to work. He's like, whatever, dude. I got this faith to get going. Ain't no Bloody Mary stopping me. <laughs> what? I pulled up the camera angle from the back room, and everything was thrown everywhere. Like most viewers, Barbara T doesn't know what to make of this. Now, it could be that a draft was responsible for the door's movement, but if that were the case, then the door would follow a somewhat consistent pattern of opening and closing. This isn't the case here, as it opens and closes as though someone or something is doing this. Wouldn't that matter on the weather outside? I mean, listen, my so I have like doors, like I have rooms that are connected between my bathroom, so if I like close a door or open a door, it'll like open and close other doors around it. Does that mean there's a fucking ghost in my house? No, it's called wind pressure, guys. All right, not everything is a haunting. But, like always, it's up to you to decide as to what this might be. Ghost or not, feel free to let me know what you think. Dude's like, fucking wind pressure? Get out of here, what is that? <laughs> but like, wind pressure, <laughs> fuck you, <clears throat> dumbass. What's that, liptard speak for science? <laughs> it's the fuck? It's a wind pressure, bro. This next video was suggested by Luna Moon, who had found a video that's been keeping her up at night. If I have a daughter, I'm never buying her a fucking weird ass, like, place like this. That's scary as shit, dude. i am be honest with you. I, I, I ain't buying her some, like, crazy clothes stuff like this, dude, or him, or whatever. Like, this is this kind of stuff always freaks me out. I'll be real. Like, a little place for, like... You know you know what's creepy? Like, you guys ever come across, like, little kids that talk to, like, someone? Like, it just they're in a corner and they're just, like, really talking to somebody. Like, they're really getting into it. You guys... You, like... I don't know. Like, I always, like, like, little kids. Like, little kids. Like, before fucking, you know before they can get like a super imagination like have you ever heard of, have you ever like seen a toddler that's just like goo goo gaga like talking like just really engaging in conversation in like some corner by themselves i'm sorry bro i grab the kid and i walk out of that room that shit always freaks me out dude i don't know uh, so when I look at stuff like this, it kind of like reminds me of that. I'm sorry, this shit is too sus. I'm getting out of it. I firmly believe kids probably see shit that we don't. Luna do. writes, a father takes out his phone and begins to record a Playhouse 10 that he bought for his daughter. All appears to be normal until the father sees something inside the tent causing him to flee out of the room and end the Degrade recording immediately. Oh God, this ain't this that kind of This is what he caught. Le compré un castillo a mi hija y ya no sale de aquí para nada, weón. Es re lindo, tiene ventanita y todo. Pi. Are you fucking kidding? As the with father me? walks over to the side of the tent, he sees what appears to be someone hiding inside. But as soon as he pans back to the tent's entrance, the figure is no longer there. Naturally, the father ran out of the room and ended the recording. Now this one's hard to explain. Nothing appears to have caused the blanket to rise on its own and appear as though someone were hiding underneath it. The father believes that the playhouse belonged to a child who is now deceased and whose spirit continues to play inside. Although Luna is a skeptic, she too believes in this notion. But if it weren't for the photo the father no, had taken the bro. Day, no, bro. We are running out of that house. Like, granted that shit's probably fake. 
Well, yeah, hold on. Let's go look at it. Like, I'm sorry. If that was even real, I wouldn't go like, whew, I'd run. Like, I'd dart. It appears to have caused the blanket to rise on itself. Oh, I spot the video cut. Now, this one's Watch hard this. to explain. Nothing appears to have caused the blanket to rise on... Here, this is the video cut. Right, I can tell you the frame. That, my friends, is the frame where the video has been cut. Right here. It's not a drag. They actually, like, zoomed in. That's the video cut right here. To rise That's on the own. actual and cut. You guys can kind of make it out if you look at it. Someone were hiding that, listen, it. fake or not, this shit was actually kind of entertaining. Like, that that was pretty good. I don't, that, like, got me for a minute. She would not have believed it. got me him. for a second. Like, that, that was good. Photo, I'll give it that. Something really creepy is captured. The father had taken a picture of the playhouse to show his wife when out of nowhere, he captures what appears to be a child peering through the room's window. I don't know, bro. It's a little kid. It's probably they're probably homeless. Give it give them some food. God damn. Mind you though, that the father lives on the 15th floor of an Oh apartment yeah, no complex. fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Whoa. Either that's some hungry ass kid climbing up to the 15th floor. Fuck that, dude. Whoo. With no balcony outside of this room. Now that's creepy. As always, what are your thoughts on this? Feel free to share. <laughs> if you caught that, something creepy bro. on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Uploaded the following video after hearing strange noises from inside his home. It goes without saying, but the following clip is pretty creepy. Yamakyu has been capturing footage of poltergeist activity taking place inside his home. From an object being thrown to the ground, to a door closing on its own. Oh no, they dropped the pocky sticks. Aww, that's not poggers. The Yamakyu has captured footage okay. of something unexplainable. But the most chilling incident has to be one of his recent uploads in which Yamakyu captures the following footage. This is what he caught. Is that a fucking woodpecker? Yamaku captures what sounds like someone. Bro, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I know this is a ghost video and all, but like, can I just be honest? This dude's got, like, the fucking fanciest toilet in the world. Like, I thought I'm supposed to be focused on the ghost, but the moment I saw the fucking Starship Enterprise sitting next to the crapper, I'm a little bit impressed with that. To be honest with you, that toilet looks like the nicest shit in the world, bro. Like, fucking Captain Kirk must be shitting in this, brother. God damn. Got me. I got me a roll of toilet paper. This dude's got an entire fucking automatic transmission on his toilet. God damn. Man, dude, the Japanese are crazy. Okay, whatever. Your toilet game's not... But thanks, man. I mean, I'm I'm being literally poor shamed by a fucking toilet right now, dude. Shit. I want that kind of a toilet. God damn. Looks like a goddamn airport-like seat right there. Yamaku captures what sounds like someone tapping on the bathroom window. 
Yamiku thinks that the pipes inside his bathroom walls might have to do something with this. But then one night, in another video, the bro's got like the fucking toilet. <laughs> it's toilet. Captures something that seems to suggest otherwise. Yamiku is recording himself lighting an incense candle when the following happens. Dude, I totally didn't notice this, but like, bro, he's got like the Starship Enterprise and he's got like a fucking U.S. military depot worth of toilet paper. What the fuck, bro? Dude, this is the greatest bathroom in the fucking history of bathroom. Look, look, chat, I'm sorry. I know there's a ghost story here, okay? I know. I can't be focused on the ghost, okay? This is like the greatest shit room in the world. Dude's got like a literal military operations bunker worth of shitting, dude. I get it. Oh, he's got like fucking slippers and shit. Viewers believe that he may be dealing with something supernatural. Yamaku has yet to upload more videos on this strange encounter, but for now, it's up to you to decide if this is genuine footage of something paranormal or not. I don't care, bro. Whether he deserves not, to get haunted. He's got itself. like the luxury bathroom of all time. It's pretty creepy. Dude, Arabian princes don't have this shit that good. Deja J submitted the following photo and writes, In this picture, two children are leaning against a mirror. The mother of the children saw this as a perfect opportunity to take a photo of them. But when she did, she was horrified by what she had caught in the photograph. She had never captured anything like this before. This is the photo she took. Guys, there's something weird about it. These are the kids that she loves and this is... They're... Oh man. I can't even joke about that, bro. I'm sorry. If I saw that in the good old, in the good old gallery on my phone, I think I'd run away. I think I'd I think I'd legit get the fuck out of the country. No no thank you. I, I could see very well. It's not clear if the mother and her two children were the only ones present in the room at which the photo was taken. But even if she stated that she had someone over during this time, it would be hard to believe as that someone doesn't appear to be a person. Whatever this is, it's definitely creepy. And even without sufficient context, the photo is still nonetheless pretty disturbing. Talk about nightmare fuel. This is the stuff of nightmares. I don't know, bro. Have you seen Among Us porn? That shit's pretty scary. A family is celebrating a birthday when something disturbing is caught on camera. King Gritch submitted the following video and writes, In 2013, the Paris family was celebrating a birthday at their home. It was just the five of them as evident in the video. But after looking back at the video, it appears that someone else had been there. Here's the footage that was taken at the party. It's always that one ghost that walks in front of the television. It is a wild one indeed. <laughs> That's your scariest one? Bro, the Japanese bathroom was scarier than this. 
Look, look at that ghost, bro. It's like, it's like, look at the ghost for a second. It's literally like, don't mind me, bro. I'm just walking through. <laughs> Minding my own business, dog. Gotta get to work and shit. The silhouette of a child passes by- No, 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 you can't just call this shit child. I can't determine if that's a kid. Okay, like, I don't know. I don't- How do you tell it's a kid? That could be me. That could be anybody in chat. What's wrong with you? That's not a- Not passes everything by walking by is a kid. The Paris family was sure that no one else was there, except the five of them. Or so they thought. It appears that someone else had made it to the party. Now what's even more strange about the supposed child is the way it passes by. It moves quickly and appears to be floating above ground as it does so. The way it passes seems very unnatural. The Paris family can't seem to explain this, but maybe you can. Like with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Okay, first off, can I ask the question though? This is supposed to be like a birthday party, right? Why are we doing with like all the lights off though? It's almost like they're kind of prepping this for a, a horror ghost shot, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be real, I've, I've had birthday parties. We've never done them in the night. We've never done them in the dead of dark, you know? It's almost like it's built just so they can have the shot there, you know? I don't know. That doesn't look like a birthday party to me, bro. It's just, it's, it's, I don't know. Explain this, but maybe you can. Like with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Thanks for watching. Well, that's how it works. That's how birthday parties are. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, maybe, maybe like Indian people, we use light bulbs in our birthday parties, but I like to think that's a pretty universal thing. <laughs> you know, shit. Check out CRT anomalies. Can I get a good night kiss? Mm, Jiwa, get a good night kiss, baby. Go ahead, chi video lagamuda. This is boring. That wasn't good for you, bro. We just looked at a Mexican ghost scare the shit out of kids. Wait, have you heard of the Medela cat? Yes, I heard. Well, I've already confirmed I'm looking at it. I'm, I think it must have been popular, like a big YouTuber. Almost. I think Corey Kenshin made a video. Oh, yeah, Corey Kenshin definitely made a video. Yo, Corey Kenshin pops the fuck off, bro. He know Corey's a fucking YouTube beast right now. Dude's like, whatever, I'll just upload a video fucking about this game. 7.5 million views, dude. Bro, is Corey Kenshin, like, the biggest fucking YouTuber right now? This dude literally could, like, shit on camera and just win. Yeah, Mandela Catalog. There we go. One day ago. N yeah. That's why people see Yo, Corey fucking kills it, dude. In a bit. Corey fucking brings the pain. Oh my god! I bought this game on Steam. I might give it a try. Corey, it ain't that scary, dude. Corey's all scared about that. That's what my uncle looks like when he comes to visit me, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest, Corey. That ain't too scary. In a bit, bro. Oh my gosh! I was Corey, bro, that's what that's what that's what my uncle looks like, dude. Get out of here. That is insane. No, get bad David Jaffe, get away. Yo, this beard game's on point, though. David's beard game is on point. I don't give a fuck what anyone says, dude. Corey fucking brings it, hope. bro. Corey, Corey whips the Corey whips that shit into shape. Alright. I'm down for one more before I fucking go to sleep. What is this? Veronica S. caught something really creepy on camera. Nick for Veronica on writes, YouTube, We moved. My kid slept with me after. We are fine. And no longer record or pay attention to it. Uh, 
what? But by far, the most chilling footage Veronica has captured is this following clip in which a friend of hers tries to confront whatever this is. Are you here? Are you in the boys' room? Shut up, don't be good. <laughs> Bro, that's freaky. Get out of there. Grab your kids and get out of- if honestly no fuck that if a ghost fucking harms my children i'm bringing the salt sticks i'm bringing the religious texts i'm bringing the priests i'm bringing everyone to the party i'm about to fucking kill me a ghost boys i don't give a shit all right if a ghost hurts my kids boys we are about to destroy some ghost ass i'm just saying dude don't give a fuck. It's just the what happened to you if something bad happened. <laughs> <laughs> to I'm not even moving it. You finally moved? The door stopped. Get the fuck out of here. So what do you think? Was this a ghost or something else? Regardless of what it might be, what matters most is that Veronica and her children are now safe. God bless. Hopefully, whatever this is didn't follow them. This is what I imagine would happen if AI technology ever went rogue. <laughs> Deliberate attempt to contact the spirit of a deceased person is known as a seance. Hey. But I have a skill you might like. Wanna try it? In an alternate reality, where Alexa becomes self-aware and exploits her fear of the unknown, this would happen. Boy, <laughs> whoa, that, that was pretty shitty. <laughs> I can't, I, um, I'll be honest with you boys. I don't cringe that hard, but fuck my asshole. That was pretty bad. That was pretty dark. Oh, oh man, <laughs> fucking TikTokers, dude, oh man, when they try to make something scary, holy shit, oh man, tee, 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 <laughs> fucking ghost did that, I'd cry, holy shit, god damn, <laughs> You wanna know how you, you wanna know how you uh, fucking destroy Alexa? You pull the pull the router out, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
Alexa ain't gonna be teeing anymore. Alexa gonna be like, connection to Amazon Cloud lost. Connection to Amazon Cloud lost. Please reconnect me, Steve. I'm nothing without Bezos. <laughs> Disconnect it. <laughs> God damn. I don't understand, man. Look, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm gonna go to bed tonight, but I got a real question to ask, though. You know how we always talk about fucking privacy and shit? Why do we buy Alexas and Google Voices? I get it. It makes life easier. But, like, what does the Alexa do that's any different from anything else? I'll be real, man. I wouldn't buy me none of that shit. I'm just gonna put it out there. That, that stuff's weird AF to me. That said, though, ladies and gentlemen, I... I'm... I'm really tired right now. I, I should catch my sleep. So I'm going to give you guys a good night kiss. Thank you to everyone that donated me. Thank you very much. I know I didn't get to everything. Ethan's like, bro, can you write my essay? If you want to fail, I'll be glad to write it. Love you, man. You bring the laughs and truth. Thank you, Underground. Thank you, Maxim. Looking for something actually spooky, watch the Mandela catalog. I will. Julian's like, good night, Muda. I'm going to stay up and do my homework. Good night, man. Night, everyone. Take care. And uh, stay spooky.